Salihat. He begins, therefore, good women. Now notice the, the, the part about men began with the rijal. It didn't say as-salihuna qawamuna ala nisa Good men are caretakers of women. He said all men are. All men are. But when he came to women, he did not begin with the word women. He didn't begin with an-nisa. No, no, no. Fasalihat. Allah is saying that what is going to be described about women isn't actually naturally the case for all women. They're going to have to make an extra effort to be this way as a result of what a man is trying to do. He's trying to provide, he's trying to be a source of support, and he's doing so over and over and over again. And they're going to have to be the first thing, salihat, a poor translation, they're gonna have to be good. But we're gonna have to understand what salihat means. Salih or salaha in Arabic actually is the opposite of fasada. When something is bad, something is disgusting or ugly or corrupt, and when you fix it, salaha. Salaha is both lazim and muta'addi Of something to become good or for you to fix something For you to fix something Now what women are being told in this ayah Is that actually they, have, they can have a tendency They may or may not have it But they have the ability to have a tendency That no matter what good is done for them They can't see good in it They just can't see it in it They don't see it So what? Oh you think just because you did the groceries? I'm supposed to respect you now? And then you can say, Salaamu Alaikum. And she'll say, Wa Alaikum as -salam. But the way in which my sister, the way in which you will say, Wa Alaikum as -salam, is corrupt, is, is ugly. There's no love in it. There's no respect in it. There's spite in it. There's hatred in it. There's, there's this, there's this di rejection in it. You're saying good words, but they're not salih. And, you'll, and there's anger. Well, he didn't call me last night. Or he didn't do this. Or he didn't do that. And there's all these reasons for you to be upset. Now he's trying over and over to be qawam and he's not perfect. He's gonna mess up. And you're going to always have reasons to be angry. Wallahi al-Azim. You can, any wife that's sitting in the audience here, do you have any reason to be upset with your husband? There are going to be reasons. Even if she says no, 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 in her mind there's gonna be a list. In her mind is gonna be a list. And if I say, can you just write them down on a paper? She's gonna say, do you have a notepad? I don't think a paper is enough. You know? There are going to be reasons for her to be upset. And yet Allah says, the first quality she's supposed to have is to fight that tendency to hold a grudge and to be angry and to let that cloud the way she speaks and the way she carries herself, but actually become a person that wants to reconcile, that wants to fix, that wants to move on and not let things get corrupt, not let things get ugly. By the way, fasada is also used for like fasada laban, fasada laham, fasada ta'am, when food goes bad, when you don't take care of food, it goes bad and you have to take extra precaution to make sure it stays fresh or stays clean and doesn't get, you know, doesn't get infected. She's constantly gonna have to survey herself and her attitude. That's the first quality. Why should she do it? Then she asks, why should I do this? He doesn't deserve it. Do you know what he smells like? Do you know what he looks like? Do you know what he talks like? Brother, you gave this khutbah but you don't understand my situation. Yes, you're right. I don't understand your situation, but Allah does. I'm not talking to you about what I think. I'm telling you what Allah says. And He gives the reason in the next, uh, next description of women, why should you be motivated to be this way? Qanitatun. Because you're willing and obedient, willing and ready to serve Allah. Qunut goes back to Allah. Qumu lillahi qanitin is muqaddam for ikhtisas. Only to Allah should you be subservient. So when women are described as subservient, their relationship and their attitude with their husband is actually directly related to their connection with Allah. And when their attitude becomes corrupt, when their demeanor becomes spiteful, then actually that's an indication to yourself, not for your husband to point it out to you, for you yourself, of how far you're traversing from your connection with Allah. And it gets so bad at some times. I've heard this with my own ears. A, a woman well-educated, well-educated, learned in the religion. She's arguing with her husband. She, she gets mad at him, and she won't even sleep in the same bed. She won't even say, وَعَلَيْكُمْ She won't even look at him for weeks. And when she starts arguing, and he says, you're, you, you're so, you learn the religion, you pray every day, you know, you're so good in Islam, why are you so mean to me? And she says, well, right now I don't have to be Muslim, okay? Literally, right now I'm a Hindu. I've, these words come out of knowledgeable religious, religious women. It's shocking. 
Because the relationship with Allah gets cut when your spite towards your man is so high. Everything gets blocked off. Even your relationship with God. It's shocking. You have to check yourself. You know, thank God they can't see me right now. Qanitatun. They have to be subservient to Allah. Then he adds, Hafilatun lil ghaib. Guarding. Con- consistently guarding. Lil ghaib. For what, what, is, what can't be seen. Now what does that mean, guarding what can't be seen? The first meaning of that is, these women have to guard the dignity, the integrity, the respect, and the trust of their husbands when the husband is not around. They shouldn't be talking to their friends about how bad he is. Because he can't be there to defend himself. They shouldn't be talking to other men if he doesn't want them talking to other men. They shouldn't be going places he didn't want them to go. Or he's never gonna find out. He's at work until 6 p.m. He's never gonna know. He's completely in the... See, they're invisible. The daytime, they're invisible guys at work. Or whatever, he's traveling. And they can do whatever they want. The first meaning of this ayah is actually they protect themselves from what he doesn't want them to do. And by the way, interestingly enough, Hafiz, guardian, is also caretaker in the Qur'an. Caretaker. That's the first meaning here. The second meaning of lil ghaib, which is profound, is that they, they are some things you cannot see. You cannot see your husband when he's at work. You can't see your husband when he's traveling. You can't see your husband when he's checking into a flight at the airport. You can't see who he's sitting next to. And you all know what I'm talking about. You can't see that. You can't see the trials and the temptations that this man that's married to you faces when he goes outside. How the women at the office talk to him. How people look at him. Who he interacts with. You can't control any of it. You, you don't see any of it. But you know what? Even if you don't see it, you can't be blind to it. You have to guard what you can't even see. You know elsewhere in the Qur'an, وَمَا كُنَّا لِلْغَيْبِ حَافِظِينَ How can we guard over something we can't even see? How can we be careful about something we can't even see? And women are being told, listen up, I know you can't see it, but you better watch for it anyway. You better take care of your husband, as if to think that, that what you cannot see still exists. They have to go out of their way to be good to their husbands, to take care of their needs, to be attractive to their husbands, to be loving and caring to their husbands. They have to do all of these things and then not assume, well, he's ugly anyway, who's gonna like him outside? Who's gonna look at him? <laughs> I don't have to take care of him, <laughs> whatever. He can't do anything. They develop this attitude. And once that attitude develops in, a, in the mind of a woman, she starts demeaning her husband, puts him down and th- assumes that there is a kind of, well, I don't have to do anything to take care of this relationship. And Allah is countering all of it. Because men try to continuously maintain, 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 take care, take care, take care. It has to be reciprocated on the other end. You have to take care of your husband. And you have to guard for the unseen. You have to know that he might just, you don't take care of yourself and your relationship with him, you'll lose him. Don't assume that you're gonna keep him. You will lose him. And even if you don't lose him explicitly, you might lose him emotionally. He might emotionally divorce himself from you. He may not even look at you with the eyes of love. He may may walk into the house with resentment. Why am I walking into this battlefield again? Oh my God, what's she gonna say today? If that happens between a husband and the wife, what's the point of a marriage left? When Allah says, لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا So you go to them so you can find peace. So you can find tranquility. And now you have situations where in the marriage, the only time a man does not find peace and tranquility is when he's around his wife. This is the tragedy on either side. Men not doing their job. Women not doing their job. فَالصَّالِحَاتُ قَانِتَاتٌ حَافِظَاتٌ لِلْغَيْبِ بِمَا حَفِظَ اللَّهِ And the word hifz also, the sisters listen up. In the beginning of my khutbah I said, that men share a respons- have been given a word of responsibility that is so noble that one of Allah's names is, goes back to that word, qawwam. I said that in the beginning. And now the final attribute for women is hafidhatun lil ghayb. The word hafid, wallahu khayran, khayrun hafidhan, is a name of Allah. Hafid is one of the names of Allah. Inna Allah ala kulli shayin hafid. Inna Rabbi ala kulli shayin hafid. My master is hafil over all things. This is one of the shared names of Allah. In other words, this is a divine. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.